Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions, and I'm going to give you a super quick demo using LSP Ice Kissed Windshirt Photoshop Collection version 5. If you already own this set and this looks different to the one you have, please do visit the website because you'll be able to update for free. For the full tutorials, please visit www.lsp-actions.com or the LSP YouTube channel. So I'm going to click here, um, on first off on the Add Winter to Scene and add the Winter Tones paint. Grab a nice big white brush in black, full opacity, low flow and start painting this on. Next up I think I'm going to add um, a little touch of winter greens just to take down some of the extra green um, that's left over around this hairline there. Next I'm going to play the Blurred Add White Winter. This will add a real snow kiss background to your image. So I'm just going to start painting this in. And when you're happy with that, you can move down to adjusting the winter scene here. These are overlays that had an, add an effect to your whole image just by clicking on them. So for example, we can go for the dark cobalt wash, which will give a lovely dark blue um, scene. Perhaps cinematic winter, you can layer these up, play with the opacity and paint them on and off as required. And you can play one and if you're not sure about the effect, you can simply turn it off, adjust it or delete it. It's entirely up to you. Next up we have the winter brushes, dark winter scene, lift the winter, soft blur, blend, contrast, rescue black. So I'm just going to pay that one a little bit and bring in some of those blacks that have darkened up quite a bit around the face here. Just bring a little of those black, blacks back. Have the colour toning paint workflow here. You can play that and it will give you different options for different colours. You can just open the group here. For example, the blues, winterize the blues. Just play that over and it will um, change the colours as it says. The yellows, I might just take some of the yellows down out of this coat here. I'd recommend flattening as you go. I'm not flattening as I go, but I'd recommend you do to keep things neat and tidy. Then you have the winter skin retouching brushes. I'm just playing this eyes retouch workflow and I'm going to zoom right in, grab a small white brush, open up the eye retouch workflow group click on the iris colour, add a little bit of extra colour in there, brighten the irises up a little just by dabbing that over and sharpening these lashes here just to bring the focus back to those eyes, just bring the attention in there on the face and make a real cinematic um, edit there. So you can see there now the eyes are really popping. You can take the opacity down if you want to and paint on or off as required. Have winter skin tone here, which will cool down the skin if the skin is looking very warm, especially if you shot um, on a green or an autumnal background there. You can use that to just add a winter tone into the skin. You can also play the skin retouch workflow. Again, because it's a workflow, it will um, go into a group. You can simply click the drop down here and choose whichever one you want. So grab a white brush, I'm just going to go in with soft skin. Don't worry if I'm going too fast in this, this is just an overview. You can watch the proper tutorials on the LSP Actions website or on the LSP YouTube channel. A little bit of rosy cheeks, pop a little bit on the nose there as well because in winter that little nose is likely to go red. Let's brighten up that face a little and darken down any way you wish to um, add that darker contrast to. You can warm up or cool down. This doesn't just go for the skin, you can cool down any way you like. So let's see a before and after. I'm just turning these layers on or off and at any point you, they are all layered on top of each other you can turn them on or off to see what you've done if you want to take something away you can you can do all of this until you flatten and to finish off let's add a dramatic vignette and perhaps a touch of contrast and now I'm going to go back and actually add the misty fog overlay now I deleted that one a bit earlier but now thinking about it I think I might add it in just to offset some of the darkness here along the bottom and again you can play with the opacity there make it larger or smaller, paint it on or off, for example there, if you want to. Third time lucky, and before and after, and see before and after. And that's just a few minutes of editing there. You can grab the LSP Ice Kissed Winter Collection for Photoshop at www.lsp-actions.com.
This set also comes with actions to help you apply moving snow overlays and it comes with 10 different types of moving snow you can add to your image which is a real eye catcher um, to share on Facebook and your website. That's www.lsp-actions.com, the ice-kissed winter collection.